We go from Geneva to the Philippines. Let's welcome from the Philippines a local change master and a very passionate social innovator, Dr. Cecilia Montales. She is the overall head of the program of the city of Taguig, which is a major city in the national capital region of the Philippines with a population close to almost a million. Cecil is also part of the board of the I Can Serve and heads their Patient Services Committee. So friends, let's give a listen to the experiences of Dr. Cecilia in setting up and sustaining a local government unit community-based model, Ating Dibdibin, which roughly translates to Let's Take It Seriously. And the program is the Hand on Heart Patient Advocacy, a breast cancer control program in an LGU in the Philippines. I promise you, this is going to be very exciting. Greetings to all of you here today in this meaningful event. I am Dr. Cecil Montales from the city of Taguig, a proud breast cancer survivor and a volunteer advocate of the I Can Serve Foundation's Ating Dibdibin program. According to the Department of Health and the Global Cancer Observatory, Breast cancer is the third leading cause of death in the Philippines and the most common cancer among women in the country. Similarly, the Philippine Society of Medical Oncology says that breast cancer accounts for 15% of all new cancer cases in the country for both sexes and 8% of all cancer deaths. Despite the statistics, the country has no national screening program for breast cancer. I Can Serve Foundation, a non-government organization, responded to the lack of a national screening program and bridged this gap by initiating partnerships with different local government units such as Marikina, Taguig, and Muntinlupa in the National Capital Region and Panabo and Tagum in Davao Region. We were excited to partner with I Can Serve because Taguig takes the fight against breast cancer to heart. Taguig also has one of the most number of community health workers, which is a testament that we really place high value on health programs. We likewise take pride in having a female mayor, Mayor Lani Cayetano, who is a strong advocate and champion of women's health and rights. As such, on 26 March 2012, our city and I can serve began our partnership and formally launched a hallmark program on breast cancer called Ating Dibdibin Program. It was subsequently institutionalized or made permanent through local legislation. The GIG passed Ordinance Number no. 17, Series of 2012, providing medical assistance under the Ating Dibdibin Program appropriating funds thereof and for other purposes. Ating Dibdibin program is a barangay-based early breast cancer detection as well as control program with patient pathways to diagnosis and treatment. It aims to widen the scope of care for women and men with breast cancer. It also aims to screen patients for early detection and proper diagnosis of breast cancer so they would be seamlessly and immediately referred and monitored for treatment. This is due to the belief that early detection helps in immediate diagnosis and treatment, paving the way for survivorship. I Can Serve Foundation trained all the community health workers and did screening in all barangays. Our partnership designed a referral system so our patients diagnosed with breast cancer or those with the suspicious findings can have easy access to free and affordable diagnostics and treatment. Additionally, a breast clinic was immediately established in our local hospital, Taguig Pateros District Hospital, and this clinic is well equipped with ultrasound, mammogram machine, and chemotherapy rooms. We have surgeons in this hospital who do biopsy and surgeries such as mastectomy, lumpectomy, and other breast-saving procedures. We also have an oncologist to manage and oversee the chemotherapy of our patients. 
Our city is blessed to have been introduced to patient navigation program which serve as a driving force and a critical initiative that led to the success of the program. The patient navigators guide patients through the continuum of care and helps them overcome barriers. They are community health workers who underwent patient navigation training given by Philippine Cancer Society and I Can Serve Foundation. They learned how to assist patients with their treatment schedules, medical appointments, and diagnostic tests as well as with obtaining the financial, legal, and social support they need to manage the complexity of their conditions. This community-based approach is important to establish trust that will be at the core of the relationship between the navigator and the patient. Since the patient personally knows the navigator, she can encourage and motivate the patient to continue with the treatment journey and remain optimistic. This program has greatly aided us to quell the fear among women to get screened or treated. Through the years, our local navigators were able to help individuals to get screened and treated at their own accord. Facebook messaging groups were even created between navigators and their patients to freely open their line of communication in case they need further help or assistance. The patient navigators in Taguig have the following roles and functions. At the City Health Office, assist patients for medical assistance offered by the City and other agencies like the Department of Health and Philippine Charity Sweepstakes Office. Arrange free patient transport, manage data under the Ating Dibdibin program, and manage the digital patient diary. At the breast clinic, assist those screened in health centers with positive findings, provide and guide patients with information that will enhance their ability to make appropriate healthcare choices and receive medical care with full understanding of the disease risk, benefits, and responsibilities. Assist patients in their chemotherapy sessions. In all barangay health centers, conduct branch conferences all year round, refer patients screened with positive findings for surgical consultation at the breast clinic, connect patients and navigate them through our healthcare system, as well as support them in diagnostic services and treatment, and accomplish the digital patient diary. At present, there are 39 patient navigators across all the 31 health centers in the city. Each center has one patient navigator except for some bigger barangays which have two to three patient navigators. There is also one patient navigator assigned at the city health office and two at the breast clinic. As we look forward to celebrate the Breast Cancer Awareness Month in October, I would like to share with you our initiatives and activities in the local government against breast cancer. OKTober, a major breast and cervical cancer screening event with 500 to 1,000 participants. Breast Cancer Awareness and Screening Kiosk in malls and other establishments. Picture Perfect Competition for all breast cancer survivors in the city who wish to share their own stories as captured perfectly in photos. Pink Bestie Workplace a breast cancer awareness booth competition in all health centers. Webinars during the pandemic, and for this year, in addition to the activities mentioned, a walkathon. In 2016, Taguig City helped to establish the Pink Crusaders, a breast cancer support group. The city recognizes the role of a support group in the fight against breast cancer. This has become the venue for the members to share their experiences, feelings, and coping strategies. Activities include dance exercises like Zumba and lectures on nutrition, urban gardening, and mental health. Aside from quarterly get-togethers, to help increase feelings of hope and empowerment, there is also a group chat in FB Messenger. The Pink Crusaders Support Group has 278 members. For this year, a bigger breast cancer center in a new building will open, 
to provide patients with a more comfortable and more convenient venue for their consultations, diagnostic procedures, and treatment. A research center, meeting room, and activity center for patients or survivors will also be included in this building. We're also excited with the digitization of data project with ICANSERVE Foundation. We initiated the digital patient diary this year and the project of ICANSERVE came at the right time because it will greatly help us in monitoring and tracking the progress of our patients. According to Dr. George T. Ignacio, Director of Philippine General Hospital Cancer Institute, they have seen fewer breast cancer patients from Taguig since Ating Dibdibin started. Due to its widespread information campaign, patients are familiar with Ating Dibdibin program and are confident to avail of its services. Our beneficiaries continue to hold their heads high and say that they feel no shame that they have cancer, all thanks to the continuous support given by the city. They also feel empowered and less worried because of how Ating Dibdibin helped alleviate financial problems or costs that come with a cancer journey. This is our legacy and this is why when the time comes that our national agencies will start prioritizing breast cancer, we have far taken the lead and continue to be ready. Thank you.